Okay, guys, this morning we are baking bread and breaking the glass ceiling as well. A special event taking place Thursday. It's the Women of Vision event, which celebrates women leaving lasting impacts on the community. One group of ladies receiving a community service award is needed with love. And I love this. And joining me this morning, ladies, wave when I say your name, is Barbara Wallace, Denise Kalt, Mindy Salzberg Seigel, and we're also joined by Sally Jo Levin, who's the president of the National Council of Jewish Women of Michigan. And Sally Jo, your organization hosts this incredible event. We do. We are so proud um, to for these three women to get the Joseph, Josephine Weiner Community Service Award and for Rachel Stewart to get the Women of Vision Award, Rachel Stewart from Gardner White. And our organization is about giving back to the community, um, improving the lives, lives of women, children, and families. And this is one of the ways that we are doing that. So we are making an impact and we're also making some delicious food as well. Let's walk through, we're gonna start mixing, huh? Right. Okay, walk me through, what are okay, we doing? So I'm gonna give you the recipe that we've been using. You're giving us the recipe? Oh, yeah, I'm giving okay, part guys. of it too. You have to go to our website to get the rest. Okay. It's three and one third cups um, whole wheat flour. Okay. Two third cups bread flour or all purpose flour. It smells good already. Two <laughs> teaspoons of salt. Um, uh, two packs of active dry yeast or two, three and a third teaspoons of instant yeast. Then usually I just mix it together a little bit. And then you have to heat your milk. Um, you heat your milk to uh, 110 degrees. If you go higher than 110, you're gonna kill the yeast and the bread won't rise. Okay, so then we're pouring it in. Pouring it in, followed you guys with can't see it, but. six tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, can I mix? Oh, sure. Oh, I wanna get <laughs> in, I wanna get my hands. And four tablespoons of honey. Ooh, the honey's a little bit challenging. Well, let me oh, get, let's get, see let's if get we some honey out. Some of that. Usually right. we mix it in a mix master. But. Ah, I'm no mix master, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. You can okay, okay. Gonna work while out. I'm keeping, while I'm mixing, what is the next step then? How do we make this kneaded with okay. love bread? So after it's all mixed up. Okay, how am I doing? It turn, keep, keep mixing. Oh, keep going. Keep okay, going. I'm, I'm mixing. Mix. I'm, <laughs> but it will turn into. Wait, this is gonna turn into that? Correct. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna keep mixing. And then you wanna knead it. Okay. On a, surface with a light dusting of flour for 50 times. One, oh, 50 two, times, that's the magic number, huh? You just kind of turn it and turn it. Okay. And you count. And, and you count, count. and you yes. count, okay. So you get to 50. It smells good. And then it will, I'm gonna do an abbreviated version. Okay, okay. You oh, kind of pat it into a little round disc. Okay. So that it, the common thing is it looks like a baby's bottom. Uh, okay, <laughs> and well, then you there you take go. take a towel uh -huh. and cover it for 10 minutes so okay. that it can rest. Let me feel it, how does it feel? Well, you could feel oh, it I underneath see. too. Well, I kind of, it's just, okay. see, it's a soft. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right. And, and then how long are we baking this for? Then after 10 minutes, we cut it in half. Okay. Real quickly. And I got a taste test while you're doing this though, because I see bread over on that okay. side. <laughs> okay. And then you just um, Here, easily me. pat it out, roll it up, put it in baking pans, baking loaves, and we then we sprinkle at the top with some um, oats. Oh. Okay, real oatmeal. quick though, I love the process. Can you talk about what the organization does? Because we're running out of time, and just the, yes. the impact that you're having. I don't. So our. The Kneaded with Love is um, a group of grass grassroots uh, bakers, okay. and we bake uh, for food pantries. Ah. So we bake in our home. We've organized a group of bakers. We have about 80 bakers. We delivered over 1,700 breads the last two years. We wow. started during the pandemic, and we were baking in our home, and we just decided since we saw the food pantry lines and people were in such great need that we would like to contribute. What does it mean to you ladies to see the difference that you're making in the lives that you're impacting one loaf at a time? You know, when you go to the food pantries and you drop off the bread on Saturday morning and you see hundreds of cars lined up yeah. waiting for their food, you realize what a need there really is still in this community. And we just want to do more. I so love that. we've asked them, what else do you need? What are the food, yes. you know, what else do you want us to bring you? Well, it's ladies, a great feeling to give back to yeah. the community. So you can and go you to really our are. Can go I ahead. talk yeah, about please. our website? Real quick, though. Needed with love. Needed with love. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for joining us. We will be right back. And of course, I've got to try this out. Needed with love, guys. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Mm.